Bend your knee to push your body into the roll. Finish with the little finger side of his hand to the floor, pressing his elbow down with your palm. To counter your opponent restraining your hands while straddling you, slide one hand up and trap his elbow. Roll and hyperextend his elbow using your armpit and elbow. Lift your knee as you slide your elbow to loosen his hold on that side of your body. Use your body weight to lean in on his elbow for the pin. In this variation, grab your opponent's wrists with your hands and his elbows with your feet. Pull him back with your legs, rolling to the side. Finish with an elbow strike to the inner thigh. As you pull him back with your legs, maintain control of his wrists. Secure both wrists in one hand before the elbow strike. To counter your opponent choking you while straddling you from behind, roll sideways while extending one arm. Follow the momentum of the roll and press his elbow to the ground. Maintain contact with your opponent's arm as you roll with your extended arm so that his hands end up underneath you. Use your other hand to press his elbow down. Use your legs to help you roll. Roll in one fluent motion. The ground flower, or golden leg scissors, is an exercise that can be applied to numerous takedown techniques. Begin lying on your side. Make an outside crescent kick with your upper leg, following this movement with your arm. Continue with an inside crescent kick with your other leg, also following this movement with your other arm. Finish by bringing your lower leg forward so it makes a scissoring movement with the inside crescent of your other leg. This movement is practiced on both sides of the body. Each movement begins with your weight on one hip, then it travels up to your shoulder where you row to your other side. Then your weight travels down from your shoulders to your other hip. Keep all four limbs extended during this movement. Lean forward with your upper torso between each repetition. Practicing this exercise will help with the following Chin Na ground techniques. Here is the ground flower technique at normal speed. Use your hands to help you between each repetition. To counter your opponent stomping on your legs, spread your legs to evade the stomp. Swing your legs back for the takedown. Hook his ankle with your lower foot and strike his knee with the back of your heel. Keep his leg pinned with your legs. Straighten your upper leg to increase your leverage. Hook his foot by keeping your lower leg next to the ground.
In this variation, hook your opponent's foot in the same manner as before. Kick his knee with the bottom of your foot to take him down. The main difference between these methods is the angle of the strike from the upper leg. Striking at the front of the knee against the bend of the joint will give the strongest angle. To counter your opponent punching you, block and trap his fist. Use your leg to hyperextend his elbow and take him down. Your arm and leg move in the same direction as in the ground flower exercises. Slide your leg up to pin his shoulder to the floor. Turn his wrist so that the back of his elbow faces your oncoming leg. Roll your body over to bring your entire body weight to bear on his arm. In this variation, trap your opponent's fist as before, then use the leg movements from the ground flower exercise to take him down. This technique incorporates the entire ground flower exercise. Place your upper leg on his hip while sweeping out his foot with your other leg. Keep your legs extended. Use your legs to turn your opponent's leg upside down. Utilize the momentum of your body rolling over more than your leg's strength. To counter your opponent kicking you, deflect his leg to the other side of your body, sneaking your leg behind his leg. Use the leg scissors to trap his foreleg and take him down. This leg technique is based again on the ground flower exercise. As with many of the movements of Kung Fu, one exercise has a variety of applications depending upon the circumstances. Deflecting the kick sets up your opponent for the takedown. Use the circular leg movement of the crown flower to absorb the linear attack of the kick. To counter your opponent's high punch, duck underneath and seize his leg. Hyperextend his knee to take him down, then twist and lock his leg. Grab behind his ankle, then use your forearm to press his knee forward. Slide both hands to his ankle 
twisting his heel in towards his center. You can use your knee to lock his hip when twisting his leg. Lift his foot as you press the inside of his knee down. This controls his foreleg. To counter your opponent's kick, grab his ankle for the block. Hook his knee with your forearm and twist to take him down. Hyperflex his knee to pin him. To take him down, lift his ankle higher than his knee as you pull his knee to the side. Press his foot to his hip to lock his leg. Step in and behind your opponent as you take him down. Sink down with him for the pin. Pull his leg back to hyperextend his hip for the pin. To counter this technique, grab your opponent's shoulder for balance, then slide in with a leg scissors to take him down. Wrap your legs around his leg to pin him. If he tries to punch, grab his fist and twist it so that you can press his elbow to the floor. This will work for both punches. Use your entire body weight to bring him down, pulling his shoulder as you slide. Press his elbows to the floor so that the crease faces down. To take down your opponent with a leg scissors attack, slide your legs around your opponent's front leg. Place your upper leg in front of his knee and your lower leg behind his foot. Apply the leg scissors across his knee and ankle, keeping your legs straight. Slide in, extending your body horizontally to disperse the energy of your fall. Use your hands to help absorb the fall. Keep your hands on one side of your body. Swing your legs in one fluent motion so that your lower leg moves continuously. Once your hips touch the ground, apply the leg scissors. If your opponent attempts to escape by lifting his leg, take him down by scissoring the other direction. Follow through by rolling your body to pin his leg. Kick the back of his knee with your upper leg while you strike the front of his ankle with the heel of your lower leg. Hyperflex his knee with your legs by rolling to a sitting position. Once you gain control of his ankle and knee, keep turning your body to twist his foreleg. Press his foot to his hip while controlling his knee to pin his leg. <laughs> 